All right, so we're diving into the Entity Dip and Buff Acrylic Dip Powder. These are 43 gram jars. Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be swatching all of my Entity nail haul from Gemini Cosmetics. This was a haul that I did last Black Friday and I did not pick it up until the end of February and it is now like the end of April and I'm just unboxing it. So um, we're gonna dive right in with that. And if you wanna skip straight to the colors, that's gonna be at 11 minutes and six seconds, enjoy. I did have this color before I bought it because I needed a light blue and it marbled horribly with monomer. You're not supposed to use this with monomer. Um, and I'm used to like the Young Nails slick pour and stuff um, where it's essentially like a four and a one. I don't really like these. And now actually today I had a dip class at Gemini. Um, it was with an instructor from the chat. I don't know if you guys have heard of that one, but if you have, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of the brand. I liked it. Um, and the LeChat dipping brand is a three-in-one, like the Slick Pour, so I really like that. And honestly, I don't think I will purchase any more of this. I'm gonna just do the LeChat or the Slick Pour going forward. There it goes. It's funny, this is actually coffee number two because the first one I spilled on myself coming up the stairs. So there's a lot of swatches to be done. Um, I hope I can get through this like in a timely manner and pull all these out of the bag and I decided to do my slick pores which is dip powder um, on the shorter swatch sticks since it's for natural nails um, so I'm gonna continue with that and um, do that with these ones as well to be honest I'm not quite sure with swatch sticks like if you're supposed to etch them out. I don't think you have to, but let me know if, if you guys have any knowledge on that. Whether it's one way or the other, I'm just kind of curious. But for this video's purpose, um, I will just go ahead and cleanse them with some alcohol. So I, I haven't done very many swatching videos or swatching at all um i know i've said it before but i don't know if i've said it like in a video before but during school it was just like i would see everyone else like with their swatch sticks you know and like their swatch things for when the clients came in and i just like never was able to make mine because like from the moment i was there I had clients and so and keep in mind you know school for me uh, was a year long so I did school for a year but you know it's been all that time I still haven't done any swatch sticks so I'm excited to finally start getting them done I did start already like on my dips so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like finish out all my dip acrylic before I move on to anything else and I am swatching all my acrylics before I swatch my gel polishes which I don't know if that was the smart way to go to be very honest but we're here now <laughs> so I'm just rolling with it but I have so many gel polish colors and it's so hard, like, if somebody asks for a color or if I want a color, like, I have to open up each box and, like, take the color out, open it up, you know, like, look at it, put the color back in there. It's just, like, a whole lot of everything instead of just being able to grab swatch sticks, so. I'm excited to get all these colors out and put them into my collection. I bought them on Black Friday. And I haven't, you know, been able to use them yet. And I've just been staring at them. So I'm excited, but I feel like, whew, 
this ought to be a lot. I hope I can get through these quick. If not, I might make it like a two part video. I just, I don't know. Everyone keeps telling me like to make longer videos, but I just feel like at the end of the day, like people don't like longer videos. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Just wanna make sure I'm making content that you guys like and that you wanna watch and stuff. It's not like boring or, you know, an hour and a half long and it's like, holy shit, bitch. all you did was like some swatches. I had to switch hands because my hand is cramping. Okay, I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> I got tons of these colors too because I feel like on top of 3D flowers, like I just need to see how bad they marble. I feel like the marbling makes it like an easy dimensional thing that you don't have to put any extra effort in to achieve that look. But also, you know, I'm just curious to see how much they marble because I got a lot of these colors that are super like close, you know, so that I could ombre them. And that's one thing that, you know, I have hella shit, but I don't have a lot of acrylic colors. And that's why I started buying the Young Nail Slick Pores, was just to kind of up my game on acrylic colors, like an easy and fast way to do it. So I got a lot of colors that I want to ombre. So I'm really hoping that they don't marble really bad and that I'm gonna be able to use them with monomer. Although, I don't know. I, I honestly, I have a feeling they're gonna marble and I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I'm hoping for the best, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, you know, they aren't three in ones. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. They aren't three. glad that I clean those off. I don't know if you could see this. Okay, let me just take a little smoke break. Before I start this monumental task, I wish I could show like the whole bag on the screen. Oh my goodness. This is like filling up the whole table. And like I was saying, I did get some La Chat Perfect Match. I should say Perfect Match each time because I know a lot of people in school knew it by Perfect Match. They didn't know it by La Chat. I also had got this thing, the magnets. And I got a Gaudi Top Coat, which I forgot I had gotten. And I had bought another one in this last Gemini haul. <laughs> but whatever, now I have two, whatever. When I, it's funny because when I went to go pick up this one, um, or no, I'm sorry, when I went to go pick up this in the bag, and again, it was late February, she's like, this is from Black Friday, she's like, oh, and by the way, you have another bag inside of that one that's from October. <laughs> so yeah, a bunch of c &D colors, oh, that one's nice. And then I got these two perfect match colors. Oh wow, this is glitter gel. What the F? I thought I got acrylic. I'm not mad. I'm just, it's not what I was expecting. Huh, okay. I kind of want to open these up, but oh my God, I can't get sidetracked dude. And I just been like babbling my brains away. I think too, like, I'm not gonna worry about swatching the gel colors because I have a bunch of like C and D and everything that I bought when I enrolled at Milan because they were a C and D school. Um, and I think I'll just make that like a whole separate video just whenever I get around to swatching my gels. These are super like fall colors. And I ordered it in October, so it's like, this is what I get. But it's okay. I'll be able to use them next year. This one's pretty. It has like a shimmer. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I already printed out the things that go on these. Actually, 
one second. Let me go grab them. Okay. All right, so here's all the ones I made. You can see the format I went with. And on the other ones, I capitalized the name for some reason. I'm kind of mad that I did it now, but I did not end up doing that with these. I can't always like reprint them, but I know I'm just like carrying on. We're diving into the Entity Dip and Buff Acrylic Dip Powder. This one is Rosy and Riveting, number 852. I'm gonna give them all a good shake since they've been sitting forever. And I'm definitely going to need help opening these. Oh, maybe not. Thanks. Oh, what a relief. I hate the ones that are so hard to get off, to be completely honest. All right, the first swatch. So I can already see that it's marbling to the white right here. Rosy and riveting. And you know, I didn't show it up to the camera. Like I said I would. I hope you guys can see that. Well, I tried to set up a second ring light um, and there was like pieces missing or something. So I'll have to get another one. Wardrobe Woes, number 866. Give her a shake. darker. I bet this is how they're going to look too. I don't know. I have a feeling. Well, let's see actually. This other one, mm, it wasn't quite the same. It wasn't quite as bright. I wonder if that's the color you get with monomer because I did practice like, I didn't practice but I played around with dip nails one day in school and I did the same colors with all three different methods. And I noticed that the color with the, using the monomer and the color using the gel turned out two different colors. Here's this one. I try to get a really big pearl when I do this so you can't see the line, but this brush is so small. I looked for a bigger one at Gemini today, but the one that I've wanted forever like they haven't had because it's been COVID. This one didn't marble that much. Pretty Precious Peonies 684. The only reason why I know how to say that word is because I said it wrong on a light elegance video. <laughs> you live and you learn. I'm loving these things how they just come on. I'm trying to pick up the biggest bead ever. <laughs> so this is super marbling. I don't know if you can see that on there. Pretty color. I can definitely use these for 3D flowers. Warming trends, 778. I think I'm this. Dude, this is gonna suck. Let me just... <laughs> I wonder if you could see that on camera. Mm. <gasps> oh. All right. Dude, I don't think that was on camera. I think the most liquid possible. Wow. Okay, this one didn't marble at all. This is a nice color. I like this one. It's like a teal, you know, like a blue-green teal, but like with a gray undertone. Super unique, super pretty. Let me grab out my Dandies. Oh, that's right. Because I just reorganized everything. 
Don't Mind Me, number 759. This one looks really pretty. Yeah, I think those other ones were just open. What are the odds that I get three in a row? Let's see if I can do this again this time. Oh, there's a trick. Oh, looks like there's stuff in it. This one looks like orange and pink. Look. <laughs> That is horrible. This is exactly why I didn't pre do the sticks. Cause it's like, no, we need to do that one over. See if we can get it good this time. Yay, much better. I'm glad I tried that a second time. <laughs> and so like this would be one that I probably wouldn't want to even ombre with, but I would definitely, this is gonna be a really pretty one for 3D flowers, if that makes any sense. It still looks like mixed on the back. You guys, I'm so excited right now to be doing this finally. I don't think I'm gonna put these on the ring yet. Just because I might wanna organize them by color. I'm not quite sure what to do yet. <laughs> Drop some comments down below. Let me know, should I organize these by number or by color? And P.S. My slick pores, I organized by color like Roy G. Biv. Well, to the best that I could. I wanna talk about my class today, but I'll wait until another video because this video is about entity, not the chat. So <laughs> I keep wanting to, but this, Sarong Sash, number 760. Oh. <laughs> Don't know if you guys saw that, but yep, that just happened. Boom. This one looks grainy, like I can see, I don't know if that's like a darker orange or like pink in there. It's like a horrible bead pickup, but I'm just trying to get as big of one as I can. Yes. The color itself, it looks grainy too. Like, I can still see those grains in it. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. But I could be wrong, but it's a beautiful color. I like it. Little Miss Macrame. Macrame. 775. You can tell this is an older one. Actually has like a cardboard lid on it. Oh, on top of the other one. Is that supposed to peel it off? Because it didn't. 
that is such a hat. Wow, okay. This one, if it doesn't marble like a lot, I will be very, very happily shocked. Yo, I don't see any white. You've got to be kidding me. There's no way. Okay, you know what? That, you know, wow, I don't know what to say. That's such a beautiful color. The nail gods heard me talking shit. Glitter Ozzy, Glitter Ozzy. 524. Let's see, that's how I was saying if there's no T. I don't know if there needs to be a T or I don't know. for this one these ones you don't have to do like overkill and try to get like the perfect bead on the first one because you can't see that line of separation if you go in with two beads this is so beautiful oh this one's not as runny either I really like this consistency. You guys, this one is a must have. And I'm not even a big like purple person, but that was amaze balls. I'm wondering too if I should write the numbers on the lids because if I don't that's what I did with my slip pores if I don't I'm gonna have to um, store them upside down well when I'm done with all the swatches I'll go back through and number them so I can do it all at once my phone's getting hot damn it okay yay another glitter Hollow gram it up. 293. I don't know, I've only seen two, but I don't know. It looks to me like Entity knows how to do glitters. Super pretty. I know I'm saying that about everyone, but. So far, so good, honestly. So far, so good. Okay, Dazzle Me With Diamonds, 538. Another super pretty glitter diamond. Kind of Definitely curious to see how this compares to the other one. So far, it looks like exactly the same. Okay. The one on the left is Dazzle Me With Diamonds. And the one on the right is Hollow Glam It Up. So if you look closely, it's the same. It's essentially the same. The only difference is the one on the left, Dazzle Me With Diamonds, it has those flecks that are a little bit bigger in there. And that colored like shimmer glitter in the background is a little bit lighter I feel like but otherwise they're the same color I definitely would not buy both of those I would get one or the other either 538 or 293 but don't get both maybe like naturally clumsy AF and having like the longest freaking nails ever isn't the best combination actually so you guys story time my first day at work 
my boss gives me a brand new top coat to have. Now keep in mind that nobody has brand new stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like she gave me a brand new one just for me that I can keep at my desk. And what do I do first thing? Like, I'm like, yay, thank you. And then I turn around and start walking back to my desk and literally just like throw it for no reason at all. Like huck it forward, like as if I tripped forward, but I didn't. I just hucked the new thing forward and it like shattered all over the ground. Fun, fun. That's me. Just to give you an example of how clumsy I am. If you haven't noticed that I drop everything. All right, let's watch more colors. I can't wait to be done with this, but I'm so excited to be doing this. Headliner 519. This is gorgeous. Oh my God. This is a true dark, shimmery charcoal. Guys, can we just talk about this for a second? I love those, I don't know why. Here's the one Jean Queen that I already had that I know marbles. And it should be opened already, yeah. When they marble, you can also kind of do that roll method. I don't know if you caught that. Okay, we're gonna leave that how it is. Pretty, not prissy. 862. Oh, my phone is getting hot. This You can tell this is an older one too. I wonder how long they've been sitting on this stock. And when I asked them, they did in fact say that they were not going to carry it anymore because their stock was sitting so much and nobody was really catching on to it. Of course, they're not going to, you know, tell me it's a shitty product, but I, obviously it's not. I think we definitely saw that here, especially with the bright pink that didn't marble. I mean, that right there won me over because it's like the young nails slick pour marbles really bad especially the bright ones i'm gonna do the roll off method again here and just see if that helps this one got a little, a little messy okay that's not cool we gotta redo that one unfortunately good thing i have more swatch sticks you can kind of see that pink in there I don't know if the camera is picking it up. This one's going to be half and half like that other one was. Half purple, half pink. Yep. Jeez, I can't just keep redoing this one because the color sucks. One more the way I did this third one. So I'm definitely glad that I tried it a third time. Um, and was able to get it. I just did a little bit bigger of a bead. Oh, and that's what I was saying. I feel like sometimes on these swatches, it helps if you kind of lay the bead actually in the middle of the swatch instead of on top. And then you can kind of push it down first and then go back and kind of push the rest up and it doesn't make so much of that line. Okay, I need to hurry, hurry, hurry. My phone is like freaking out. Apricot beach bag, number 619. I literally just want to get this done, dude. This has been in the works since freaking Black Friday. Be beautiful orange. I also feel like with the dip powders and trying to use them with monomer and preventing like the marbling, you really want to let them sit and form up and get that smooth look. I feel like I get better success when I do that. Look how smooth that went on. That's a really good color. That's quality, quality. Yes, that's, honestly, I'm very confused if I'm supposed to cuss or not on YouTube. 
Let's do this one. Frayed edges, eight seventy six. It is kind of funky. I have this Platinum Studios stuff. It supposedly smells like coffee, kind of smells like chocolate, but um, I'm not even gonna get into like the validity of this company and everything right now. That'll be a different video. <laughs> um, but since I have it, I like to use this as like my cheap monomer so I don't waste my young nails. Okay, last round here. So far, I am very impressed. There's been a couple duds, but that's been it. Which, honestly, I was expecting, you know, 80% of these to be duds. Mm. Let's be honest, though. That's getting a little gross. Light up the night. 06 or 006. Oh. Okay, so this one had been opened. Good thing it didn't go everywhere. Oh, look at that too. I just noticed. I wanted to take a moment to insert this here. I actually reached out to a company about this and asked them what's the difference between the dip or brush and the dip and buff. I only had a couple of them that said the dip and brush. The company did say that they've reformulated the, um, they've reformulated the product and the, new, the newer ones are the dip and brush, and you can now use them with monomer. I have not heard back yet, because I did follow up with them and ask them for more information, uh, because what they sent me was on the new formulation, the dip and brush, and I'll put everything at the end of the video, um, but I did ask them for more information on the dip and buff, because that's what I have, and that's what I'm making the video on primarily. So I haven't heard back from them yet, but I will insert all the information that I end up getting from them at the end of the at the end of the video. Some of them have this on the side. Okay, my brush is thanking me for a new monomer. See that my phone is like heating up. Now it says low battery. It's like freaking out. Something happened there in the middle, but we're gonna roll with it. They all can't be perfect, and these are just swatch sticks. Not off the rack, 241. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so glad I got that on camera. Hopefully it was in view. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if you guys caught on like a couple back. I open, accidentally opened it like that and it opened perfectly fine. Oh my goodness. Oh. Did it go in the monomer? It definitely went on my... Um, paper towel that I just folded over. You guys, this this is what I'm dealing with. Myself. This is what I'm dealing with. That's what I deal with. Literally all the time. That's the kind of shit that I do. So now you guys know. That was not a good idea. Take note. <laughs> Went on smooth. Can't believe I did that. Afterglow is number zero one zero zero ten or just ten can't believe i'm almost done with this this one was open too good thing it didn't go everywhere i noticed too these say dip or brush so these you can use with monomer. Headshot Honey, 625. I was curious to see this one because, oh, it was open. It had gold glitter in it. I 
it's like peachy pink with a shimmer close to the colors that I had going on in this room. It's like this kind of corally vibe. Perfectly polished, 847. Actually a hint of shimmer, or is that from my monomer? No, there's a hint of shimmer in there. Beauty Icon, 830. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. It did kind of do a weird thing, but. Love that color. Purple sunglasses, 616. Wow. That one went super crazy. See, and I should have put it more like in the middle, like how I was saying. All right, <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. I'm not gonna try too hard to cover up what's happening because if this just isn't a good color, I'm going to use it for 3D flowers and that's it. Blue Bikini 550. <laughs> They've got some pretty good colors. This one's really pretty. This reminds me of like the blue craze that everyone's been on lately. Including myself. <laughs> Alright, cool. That one went on good. There's a little bit of separation there, but... That looks amazing. By the way, I'll go ahead and link um, these down below because it was a bomb deal. And I got them off of Amazon, so you get them like the next day. Elegant Edge 863. Dude, that's so pretty. It's purple with blue sparkles. Last but not least. Drops of a gold 869. Guys, I'm so excited to be finally done with this video. But thank you for watching, guys. Comment below. Let me know what was your favorite color today. And if you already own some of the brand, let me know what you think. If not, let me know if you might go out and buy some. I will leave the link to the entity website. And I'm not sure if you have to be a professional or not to use that. But thank you guys so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.